I'm not used to fursuiting. I'm getting hot already, holy crap. What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and I have, um, I'm in a studio. It is literally so great. Um, I got sound treatment all over the walls. F things are finally coming together. Things are actually looking like a studio instead of a hotel room. So it's super nice, um, super vibing in here. But, you know, I'm in a new city. And when you go to a new place, you want to meet new people. And I haven't, uh, it's hard to meet furries because they're just like, not usually loud about it. I'm loud. I literally wear furry shirts every day to work, and I saw someone in a protogen shirt once. So that was cool. I didn't say hi though. It's really hard to find other furries other than those freak encounters, you know, of like, oh hey, you're wearing the furry shirt, I know who you are. You know, there's no there's no telling. So, what do you do then? Well, in comes Bark. So Bark is made by some dude in Europe, and it is actually doing quite well here in the States. And I love it for the area that I'm in. I've been meeting a ton of cool people, but it replaced an app called Howler. Now, just based on the image that you see when it boots up, it was a hookup app. It was 100% for furries to fuck. And that's not really what I'm trying to do. I just want friends. I want people to fursuit with, you know, I want to have like fur meets and see what's going on in the local area. And Bark helps with that a lot because it's not sex focused. It's focused on community. You know, there's groups that you can be part of. Um, it literally blurs not safe for work images by default. So you have to enable AD mode. Otherwise you can't see any of it. And I think that's fantastic. I think it's very important for furries to have a app that's not just for screwing, you know? And I think it's wonderful. I think that the layout is really nice. You know, it's not like Tinder where, you know, you swipe left, swipe right. It just shows you who's in your area and it just lists and you can keep scrolling and the further down you go, the farther away they are. Um, you can make your area precise or vague or whatever you want. Um, it's got a lot of features that allow you to kind of be more private or, you know, loud about everything that you're doing. And I think that's great. I think it's a great app for really anyone to have. Now, I will say putting your name on a big list of people in your area can be iffy, but one of the things I really like about just the furry community in general is that it doesn't have to be you. You know, you can put your persona on there and so you kind of remain anonymous while still able to interact with people in your local area. I think that's fantastic, you know, and then if you want to meet someone in real life, then you can kind of make that leap in a public space. Right now it's still in its beta program, but even in beta, it is more functional and feature rich than Howler ever was in its entire existence. Um, big props to Bark. There's some drama going on about it. Um, people are mad that they're uh, blocking out pup hoods, which I think is, yes, lots of things can be not sexual. Um, like harnesses. I love wearing a harness. Doesn't mean I want you to like pull me down and put things in my mouth. I just like wearing it like I would, you know, a hoodie or a shirt. And some people think pup hoods are the same way where it kind of just, it's a mask. It disguises you and you can be more animal versus, you know, your boring human face. And so there's some discourse about that. I think that they made the right choice because pup hoods can get to, you know, sexualize things a lot faster and I think harnesses are in the same way. Um, I don't know if they ban harnesses yet but I'm not gonna you know have me some leashed up ooh woo pick on my main page anyway. I think that's a little too flirty. Just cute being cute is all you really need. And they didn't even delete it from the app. It's just in the AD portion. So you have to say, yes, I'm 18. Yes, I want to see this kind of stuff. And there you go. It's that easy. You don't have to do anything super crazy. It's super nice. So um, big props to Bark. Just wanted to make a quick video saying 
I've moved in, everything's comfy. Um, this is my first time being in like full suit, doing my thing, so um, it's weird. It's definitely weird. Hope you guys like the new setup. The studio is incredible. I'm probably gonna be doing a studio tour here in a few videos. Um, I'm kind of blanking on ideas, just trying to get into the swing of making content. So, uh, I guess that's it. Big props to Bark, and until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.